Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, as St. Peter said on the Transfiguration, how good it is for us to be here, as we are here in honor of the anniversary of Our Lady of Fatima, Mary who came to our three children, Jacinta, Lucia, and Francisco. Let us open our hearts this afternoon to our Lord, who is the forgiver of all, filled with mercy. For the times that we have sinned, let us ask the Lord for forgiveness, for he is filled with mercy and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, in answer to the prayers of the ever-Virgin Mary in her glory, grant to us, your servants, unfailing health in body, mind, and spirit, freedom from sorrow in this life, with everlasting joy in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the Apocalypse, I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth, first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away the tears from their eyes. There will be no more death, and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. The one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole creation new. The word of the Lord. Thank you to God. The responsorial psalm, you are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed in the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, o Lord. While Jesus was speaking, 
a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome, my name is Father Jim Stahaj from the Diocese of Rockville Center, which is in Long Island, New York. Any New Yorkers here today? Ah, a few, okay. And we have priests here, or Father Holtz, also from the Diocese of Rockville Center, Long Island, and priests from Poland and the Philippines, right? And from England. So we have a good representation. I think what's a beauty about the Catholic Church that we often forget that we are people from many places, many countries, many languages, many cultures, and we all come as one. No matter where we are from, we know who we are, who it is we belong to, which is Jesus Christ. And of course, what a beautiful day for us to be here today on this, the fifth of the sixth apparition of the Blessed Mother to our three children, Lucinta, Jacinta, and Francisco. And right here, right here to my right, is where she came. But you know, she still comes to us. We don't maybe not see her physically, but she comes to us because of God's revelation in and through Jesus Christ. You know, today the church also celebrates the feast of St. John Chrysostom. And St. John Chrysostom was known as the man with the golden tongue, with the golden mouth. He had beautiful words to preach. And he said this about the Blessed Mother. He said, Mary was made mother of God to obtain salvation for many who on account of their wicked lives could not be saved according to the rigor of divine justice, but might be saved with the help of her sweet mercy and powerful intercession. How beautiful, her sweet mercy and powerful intercession. All because she said yes. In fact, when Jesus said, those who are mother, brother, and sister to me are those who hear the word of God and live it. Meaning that to be a part of the divine life of Christ doesn't mean that we are biologically connected, but that we are spiritually connected. And who else better to follow than the Blessed Mother, right? The one who 13, 14 years old got that call from God through the angel Gabriel to bear forth a child to the world the one who is given the opportunity to appear here at Fatima and to continue to bring the presence of Christ to the world. And for us, we're called to do the same. Not only to hear the word of God, but to live it. Each of us are reservoirs of grace and love. And so for the beauty it is that we are here, whether we pray, whether we follow on our knees, whether we're at mass, whether we do the rosary, what makes it most important is that we live it out toward one another with good faith, with good love and hope, bringing forth the presence of Christ, especially to those who are in need. And so may God bless us, guide us, and may our blessed mother, Our Lady of Fatima, always keep us forever and ever, amen. celebrating the marvels which God perfected in the mother of Jesus and our mother, we humbly lift up our hearts to him, imploring the intercession of Mary, health of the sick. And our, our response is, Son of Mary, pray for us. for the Holy Church, that she receive and proclaim the word of God and the sacrament of the anointing of the sick be a sign of salvation and hope for the infirm, we pray to the Lord. Son of Mary, pray for us. For all Christians that imitating Mary, our Blessed Mother, that they dedicate themselves with diligence in serving one another, we pray to the Lord. 
Son of Mary, pray for us. For all confined in the hospital, in sick homes, nursing homes, or homebound, that they may be cared for with all humanity, affection, and concern, we pray to the Lord. Son of Mary, pray for us. For all of our communities across the world, especially in areas where Christians are being persecuted, for people of North Korea and the Middle East, that they discover the profound value of the mystery of redemption, which is manifest in those who suffer, we pray to the Lord. For us here present, for those in our families who are ill, for those who have asked us to pray for them in any way, that through the intercession of Mary, the Blessed Mother, they may attain perfect health of soul and body, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and good God, full of goodness and mercy, you were pleased with Mary's willingness to become the mother of your son, and you taught her to be continuously at the service of those in need. Give us the grace to imitate her in every moment of our life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, on this memorial of Blessed Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Fatima, look with favor on the prayers and offerings of your faithful people. Grant that they may be acceptable to you, and so bring us help from your loving compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. We lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You gave the Blessed Mary a special share in the mystery of suffering as a star of hope and promise of restoration for the sick who ask for her patronage. To all who look up to her in prayer, she is the model of perfect acceptance of your will and of wholehearted following of Christ, who out of love for us endured our weakness and bore our sufferings. Through Christ, the angels of heaven, 
offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the savior of the world. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, I'm sorry. In your mercy, free, uh, keep us free from sin and protect us from all fear and anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us solve each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Woman, quiet light, morning star. So strong and bright, gentle mother, Son, you are chosen from all women, and for woman, shining one, gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so Let us pray. Lord, you have re having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray, that you, that grant us, we pray, you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, Mother of your Son and Mother of the whole Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us just say a Hail Mary for peace throughout the world. You know, it's so peaceful here right now. Our wish and our hope is, is that peace can be resonated, especially in hearts that are hardened. Those hearts will be open. We pray for peace. And we pray for those victims of hurricanes in the United States and earthquakes in Mexico and Italy and all over the world. And again, we're uh, terrorism and war seems to still run that God's hand may bring healing and comfort as we pray. Hail Mary. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. May this time be fruitful for each and every one of you and your families, both now and forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, and